And we really, really love this, uh, this effect. So this could be the sky in the evening. I think we're getting close to a six year anniversary. On the label, there's a picture of us. Yeah. Hi everybody and welcome back to our YouTube channel. We are as always your hosts Arne and Carlos and today we're going to talk about one of the most fun jobs we ever done or yeah. have or had. Or yes, exactly. <laughs> We've been working with Regia for many, many years now. I think we're getting close to a six year anniversary or something yeah. since, we la since we launched uh, our first line for Regia. And it is really one of those jobs that we really, really love because this is when we can play around with our colors and inspire ourselves from our culture, our heritage, and our beautiful country, right? Yes. Yeah, so, so. we've done a new collection um, of eight new colors. And we've actually based this, this is the Regia Design Line um, Lofoten collection. Uh, we'll talk about the inspiration in a little bit, but yeah. we based this on the first effect that we ever designed for Regia, Yeah, the remember? one that was inspired of Edvard Munch, yes. the painter, Norwegian painter. So. It's the same, uh, kind of the same pattern, but yeah. now with new colors. Yeah, and we really, really love this, uh, th this effect. Uh, when it was done uh, six years ago, it was actually quite difficult to, yeah. to get right. So uh, we kept going back and forth, back and forth with Regia about the, about the design. And I think it really took about a year to develop this effect. Yeah. And uh, ever since we've developed it, I mean, we've done other effects. But we always look at this one with a lot of nostalgia yeah, yeah. and a lot of love because this was really it was the, the first, first one, one and it was a big success. Yeah. So it's, it, it was really, really nice, nice thing to do. Yeah. So we're happy that we've been able to come back to uh, color um, a new set of, of, um, yeah. of, of, of sock yarns for Regia using this first mm. effect. And this is not the same as the, the other one we do, which is called Perfect, because this one you can knit both from the inside of the ball or the outside of the ball. Toe up. Toe up, top, top down, down, whatever. You just have to, like we, we normally we say it's good to just leave the tail from the cast on wherever you start, just mm. so you can easily find the place you started the first one make when you make the second one. So yeah. you can get two looking the same. Yeah. And normally they will look the same if you knit both of them. Yeah. And if you get but they don't have another to, one knit it, it would be different. That's true. But they don't have to look the same. They look no. they can look quite funky as well when they don't match. Now we really love the collaboration with we have with Regia because really it is about all about technology meeting design and innovation. Um, mm. The technology aspect is what the engineers do to to make this amazing product, uh, which is so incredible. I mean, it is so incredible that it really doesn't matter your gauge. Whatever your gauge is, if you're a loose knitter or a tight knitter, the pattern will still come up. And also the fact that there's no particular uh, heel pattern or sock pattern. It's not like the regular line is locked into a particular sock pattern. You can use yeah. any sock pattern you like. You could do, uh, you know, there's so many different kinds of heels you could do. What could you do? You could do like the, the short row heel. You can do the one with the heel flap. I think you can even do the one, the afterthought heel. Absolutely. But then you could actually, then you have to wind up the yarn again if you want to have the heels looking the same. But you don't same. have to. But you don't have to. But you can also use this uh, plain color or a single color. Yeah, you can do that as well. Yeah, you could do. So, you could even do a spiral sock with no yeah. heel that will then that will then hug your your foot. Yeah. Um, whatever you do, you will always always get the pattern, and that is the coolest thing yeah. about this yarn. So uh, Arne, we've been uh, all over Norway <laughs> and there is one uh, specific place that we really love. Yeah, this summer we took our Beetle, Volkswagen Beetle from six, 1968 and we drove up to Lofoten yeah. in the north of Norway, which is one of the most beautiful places in the world. Yeah, and actually the, and the, the journey to Lofoten on the Beetle, uh, which took three days, is yeah. also one of the most incredible journeys you well, can do by land it was, it in was Norway. It was so beautiful because we, we took that road that goes next to the coastline of Norway all the way up to Bode and then we took the ferry out to Lofoten and then we drove around on, in Lofoten to all these beautiful small villages. Yes. And it was really, really nice. So we were very inspired of the trip to Lofoten. So yes, that's why this, this collection has names from Lofoten. Yeah, and also the different kinds of colors represent 
different kinds of moods or different kind of landscapes or different villages um, yeah. in Lofoten. And one of the special things with Norway is the colors, yeah. the colors of everything. Um, the houses in Norway are usually made out of wood. And you will see uh, when you travel around in the Norwegian um, countryside, wherever you are, you'll see houses that are red, you know, white, yellow, mm. green, you know, they're in all these different colors, which is so lovely to see the, the pops of color everywhere. Yeah. And then you have this staggering and stunning natural um, surrounding mm. in Lofoten. And you have the beautiful mountains, the skies. And the, and the midnight sun. Yes, we're in the land of the midnight sun, <laughs> at least when we were doing uh, our inspiration journey in Lufut and we were there during the midnight sun. You had this beautiful evening light, which is kind of filtered yeah. and just soft, like this one, for example. Yeah. Which is Svolvar. Uh, the Svolvar. name of this one is Svolvar, which was... Um, so this could be the sky in the evening. Yeah, during the... During the summer. Yes. And this red. We stayed in a small place in those uh, small cottages next to the water, Rurbu. Mm. It's like house where the Fishing fisher, huts, fisherman's, huts. fisherman's huts and they're all red so yeah this red reminds us about the houses yeah you've got this one in. as well with the uh with the houses and then the the green is for the uh, grass roofs that you have yeah. in many of the cottages the fishermen's cottages um around in lufoten then you have the amazing mountains that crash into the ocean yeah. Uh, what's this one called? Nusfjord? Nusfjord. Yeah, Nusfjord was a lovely resort that we visited. And, and then, of course, you have all those noisy seagulls um, yeah, yeah, yeah. that want to have <laughs> some of the most delicious fish in the whole world. Nesting on the window sills, of, sills everywhere. Of so the you have to be careful when you walk by. <laughs> You've got Leknes, which has uh, the greenery. This one. Maybe inspired of the Viking Museum that we visited. Yeah, that was very green. That that was like in a very green field yes. with this. Uh, it's like a house that looks like a boat lying upside down. Mm. Very very nice. Yeah, and then so, you've got Kabelvog, another lovely little yeah. town in Lufoten that we actually didn't visit on this occasion. No, we didn't have time. We had to go back. Yes, yeah, so we had a short but sweet stay yeah. there. Um, and Moskenes, we've got here. Yeah. Um, and then we did remember Arne, we visited that lovely farm um, yeah, 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 that had all the, cu the cutest sheep in the world. Yeah. And there were two sheep, Freya and, uh, oh, I don't remember the other one. My oh, memories. No, a little I don't bit. remember. Anyway, yeah. they, they used to go, <laughs> the sheep, they used to go to this island, which is kind of like the outermost island of Lufoten called Röst. And they went there to um, eat in yeah, the yeah, summer. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that was the most of them were like those Viking sheep. The the the, I think we call them Viking sheep. Mm. The, yeah, it was so nice. Yeah. Anyway, the, the, this one, <laughs> this 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 one that we talked about the houses and the um, yeah. and the and the green uh, roof cottage uh, in the fishermen cottages. This one has the name Rust, which is representing the island where the sheep go yeah. uh, in the summer. So yeah, it was a lovely stay. We spent a few days in beautiful Lofoten, came back full of inspiration and then started designing this collection for Regia. You that know, so when you have that, those fjords with the very blue water, you have those peaky mountains with granite, like the grey, yes. bluish mountains sticking up of the water and then the greenery next to it. It's so beautiful. Yes. And white beaches. Yeah, beautiful so. white beaches. <laughs> so anyway, it was lovely uh, doing this collection and it was lovely going back to the original roots, the original designs that we did for yeah. Regia uh, six years ago, recoloring those yarns and bringing out this collection, which is really, really colorful. And it's, yeah, and it's really fun like when you, when you do new color combination just to see how, how different the pattern comes out hmm. depending on the, on the colors. Like on this one with purple, purple, white and pink and black, it's totally different from, from this one. Mm. So it all looks almost like or it's two one. different patterns, but yeah. it's actually the same pattern. It's just the colors that make them look a little bit different. And you have to remember, if you look for our yarn, you have to look for on the label, there's a picture of us. Yeah, that's because true. Because sometimes there are a lot of yarns now that looks almost the same when you look at the ball, but look at the label. So yeah. if, you, if you buy the yarn and 
you buy a sock yarn and you don't get the pattern and you think it's strange, look at the label. Maybe yeah. it was another brand. So yeah. the look label out for the Regia Arne and Carlos yeah. design. The Regia design line by Arne and Carlos always has a picture of us uh, on the on the on the label of the yarn. So that's good to know. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I think uh, I think we are going to have. Um, some fun uh, months ahead. We're going to be knitting uh, ourselves the socks. And teddy bears. And teddy bears. I'm going to make more teddy bears. Every time we get a new ball of uh, regia, <laughs> we need to have teddy bears. Yeah. And uh, yes, the launch of this uh, yarn is going to be um, later on in the year. Um, I think that by the time... Uh, by the time the video is out, you will actually see yeah. these in the stores. It's probably going to launch sometime in May, April, end of April or May. So we really look forward to that. Yeah. So yeah, Arna, that's uh, pretty much um, a new collection of uh, sock yarns. Which you know what you know what this means, right? We have to go back to the design table and make a new collection. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah, that's fun. Maybe we'll do a perfect next time. The one where maybe. you do the two identical. Maybe. But yeah. first, we have to make eight new teddy bears. Yeah. <laughs> and then we'll make eight new balls of yarn. And eight new balls of yarn. So it's been really nice sitting here talking to all of you and uh, talking about our latest collection for Regia, yeah. which we hope you will enjoy um, as much as, you know, we hope you will enjoy knitting as much as we enjoyed designing. Yes. So, so let's go and make some teddy bears. Yes. Or socks. Absolutely. Yeah, okay. So thank you for watching and. See you again, See you next, again time. next time. And remember, don't forget, we have a great YouTube channel. Lots of amazing content there. And we would really love it if you engage with our content. Give us likes, comment, and most importantly, subscribe to our channel. Because it is a lot of fun. So thank you for watching. And we will <laughs> see you again very, very soon. Bye. Bye.